Okay, Assalamu alaikum, grade 7. Today we're doing decimal fractions. It's the 20th of April. You write the date down and your heading is decimal fractions and we're doing addition today. So if I have these numbers here, I've got 2,301, 36,4, and 111,73. Can you see these are three decimal numbers? We have a whole number, and then we have a fraction part of it, and then we have a whole number and a fraction, a whole number and a fraction. So these three numbers are called decimal fractions. And the question says we must add the three numbers up together. So what we're going to do is like our normal column method, right? So we write down 2,301, then we write down 36,4. Look at, I have aligned the units and the tens there together. 36,4, right? It goes under the 3 there. And I've added two extra zeros, which doesn't change my number, but it makes my adding easier for me. I need to put it in line with that. And then I've got 111,73 from there. And then I've added in another extra zero, and I just start adding as normal, right? So I've written them down in a column method. 1 plus 0 plus 0 gives me 1. 0 plus 0 plus 3 gives me 3. 3 plus 4 plus 7 gives me... Uh, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus another 7 gives me 14. So I carry the 1 on the top, and I put the comma down in line with that column where the col uh, comma is. 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 6 becomes 9, plus 1 becomes 10. So I put my 0 down there. I've carried my 1 on the top, 3 plus 1 is 4, plus another 1 is 5, and we bring down the 1, and then our answer is 150,431. So all I've done is I've taken my three decimal fractions, I've written them down in a column method, and I've added them all in a row and brought my comma down. Okay, so then nothing changes. So let's do subtraction now. So this question is saying, subtract 4,3 from 2,01,65. Uh, now remember, it's saying to take 4,3 and subtract it from that number. It's not saying 4,3 minus 201.65. So how do we write it down? Again, we're using a column method. I've got 201,65 minus 4,3. So look, I've added a 0 to make it easy. And notice we have written the 4 in line with the 1 there. So I have to write it in a column method, all matching. 2,01,65 minus 4,30. Right? Now I start subtracting. So 5 minus 0 is 5. 6 minus 3 is 3. I bring my comma down. I didn't have to borrow so far. 1 minus 4, no, I need to borrow. There's a 0 there, so I'm borrowing from the 2. So I scratch that out, I make it a 1. I've made that number a 10 first. And then I've borrowed again from it. I borrowed the 1 to, to this number, so I made that a 9. So 11 minus 4 becomes 7. 9 minus 0 becomes 9. And 1 minus 0 becomes a 1. So your normal subtraction, it's just a matter of how you've written the number down. Put the comma in order, in place of in the right column and put the extra zeros and then you do your subtraction, right? So let's do the next one together. We've got 0, 0,82 minus 0, 0,03. So look how I've written the question down. It's, it's all placed in order and I've got the comma there. So 2 minus 3, I can't minus 3, so I'm going to borrow from the 8. So I'm scratching the 8 out, I make it a 7. And I've borrowed a, one, a 10 there, so it's become 12. So 12 minus 3 becomes... 12 minus 3 becomes uh, 9, right? I've got a 9. 7 minus 0 becomes 7, okay? And then 0, I put my comma down, and I've got a 0. So it's normal subtraction. Addition and subtraction is very easy for decimal fractions. All we need to do is we need to write it in the proper column method. Add zeros wherever you need to add zeros. And then you just carry on subtracting like normal. Okay. So now they're telling us to check our answers with a calculator. So let's use a calculator. My first one says 2,301 plus 36,4 
plus 111.73 and my answer becomes 150 comma 431 let's do the next one next one says we've got 201.65 and we're minusing 4 comma 3 and my answer is 197 comma 35 then i've got 0 comma 82 minus 0 comma 03 and my answer is 0 comma 79 now this is only to check your answers you're not allowed to do that when you're doing the exercise you have to show that you've done the column method and not cheat yourself because in the test you won't be allowed to use a calculator right so for today we did addition of decimal fractions and subtraction of decimal fractions and your homework is 7.6 on page 95 96